Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this one, we're showcasing a script that was designed by our designer over at Wayscript. What the script does is it runs an automation that allows us to automatically pull a Figma image and place it on a Trello board. This can be useful for sharing images with others on your team. Let's see how we can build this. Starting out, we'll go to Wayscript and click on create a new script. I'll call this one Figma to Trello automation example. Now I'll click on create. Once in our editor, we can begin adding modules and triggers to our workflow. In this example, since we're trying to run this daily automatically, we can use a time trigger. To do this, we'll click on add trigger and type in time and import the time trigger. We can turn this on by flipping this switch and then we can configure the settings so we can run this at whatever time that we want. Since we're wanting to import a Figma image, and pass it to a Trello board, we first need to use the Figma module. So we'll import it and drag it here. And then we will also need to import Trello. We'll import it and drag it here. The first time that you use Figma, you'll have to give authorization to Wayscript to get your files. I've already added a Figma account, so that's why mine is account one. In this one, let's get an image from our Figma files. For the file key, we can go to Figma, and get this string from the URL. It's directly following the file slash. So we'll take that string and paste it here. Next, we need the file ID. So we can go back to Figma, and as long as our Figma image is within a frame, the file ID should be this parameter of node ID at the end. So we'll go back and paste that here. Once we have both of these, we see that we get a variable created at the bottom that gives us access to that URL of that image. This is what we'll be passing to that Trello board later on in our workflow. Since we want to add this image to a specific card in our Trello boards, we need to get cards from a board. We'll select the board that we want, and then we'll import the card names and the card IDs. This will likely give us a large list depending on the size of your Trello boards. So what we need to do is to loop over these lists and find the card that we want to add your image to. We can do this using logic already built into Wayscript. So we'll pull in a loop and drop it here. And inside this loop, we'll need a conditional. So if we find that card, then we need to perform an action. So setting up our loop, what we want to loop over are the card names and the card IDs. This way, once we loop over the card names, we'll have access to that card ID, which we can use to write to that Trello card. So in this example, let's say, if the card name item, the card name item is the same as, and we'll say auto update, auto update, then we'll create a variable. So we'll drag this module into the workflow, and we'll say that the ID, is equal to the card ID's item. We'll use this to write the Figma design to that Trello board. Now, clicking off of that and clearing our selection, let's add in a date time module. That way we know what time our Figma image was updated on our Trello board. This one goes outside of our loop because we're no longer needing to find cards. So we'll place it outside of the loop and outside of the if statement. We'll use US Eastern and pass this as an output that we'll give to Trello. Finally, we'll pull in a Trello module. And this time, instead of pulling information, let's update a card. We'll choose update a card from what would you like to do? The card ID will just be the ID variable that we created within our loop. The card name that we're updating, again, is auto update. The attachment URL will use Figma images 01. So this is the image that we're creating here. We're passing that to this Trello board and we'll say attachment name as updated. And then we'll use that date time that we created in the step above. Now we have this all set up. It will automatically run whenever you set your time trigger, but we can run this manually by clicking on this play button. Once we go back to Trello, we see that our card has been auto updated using this Figma design. And it will auto update daily depending on when we set that time trigger. And that's it for this one. I know it's a quick automation, but hopefully it saves you a lot of time in the long run. 
If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know and we'll get back to you. Until next time.